because they unbeat no. This was so annoying that I just did that. Okay, happy Friday guys. I'm on my way. Oh, that's not a good look. Good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm on my way to play tennis with Janine. It's 8 a.m. I think. Um, I made myself a little coffee from home. I got this at a craft store, like randomly at checkout, and it is probably like my most used thing in my kitchen, this little cute travel mug. So, today is a good day. I'm playing tennis with Janine this morning, which I've been wanting to do for so long, so I texted her yesterday, and I'm like making her go with me early before her meeting today, and she like didn't want to wake up, I don't think, but it's fine. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Got some work to do. I'm getting lunch with an old friend who's also a friend that I hang out with now. Oh my God, I'm not gonna vlog this, but tonight I'm getting dinner with Taryn and also one of our old friends that like is literally the funniest, best person ever that I miss so much. It really feels like summer. I'm blasting country music. I'm off to play tennis. I mean like, I love life. Also, I feel posted like seven TikToks in the past day. Um, it's Kenzie Elizabeth Hay, that's my username. So go follow me on there. Um, I am really just trying to live out to like my true Gen Z potential. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell Janine that I'm Gen Z and see if she feels old. Okay, I made it to the courts, guys. We're in Uptown. I know I say this all the time, but I love it living in Dallas. Like last night, it's at Katie Trail Ice House, the most beautiful place in the world. Now I'm playing tonight. I mean, it's just the best city ever. Guys, look who I'm with. Hi, guys. Janine, did you know that I'm Gen Z? Are you Gen Z? Yeah. Does that make you feel old? Uh, that kind of terrifies me a little bit. <laughs> I was thinking this in the car. I'm like, when Janine finds out that I'm technically Gen Z. Cause oh you're- my god! <laughs> Janine is always like, you're like the little one, like you whatever. Are. I'm Gen Z. That's terrifying. I know. Gen, Gen Z kind of scares me, but I also like love them. I love Gen Z. I think Gen Z is like, they're just making waves. They're now really that hard. I realize that I'm a true Gen Z kid, why isn't this lighting good? Hello, lighting? Yeah. Guys, I'm a runner, I'm a tennis star. <laughs> As I just hit my Janine, head with the guys, literally, I texted Janine, kind of kidding, but not. When I, I was like, just parked, can't wait for my Instagram pic. And then she replied with a photo of a tripod. She's like, I brought a tripod for us. <laughs> I had a feeling we'd be taking pictures. Yeah, understandable. I really I did. think we should probably do the photos before we play. I agree, because we're going to get sweaty, because I actually do intend on fully playing. No, we're fully playing. Like, I oh, skipped my workout so we could do this. Oh, the vlog knows all about my tennis club and my tennis uh, <laughs> plans for the summer. We are Thank playing. God. I'm ready. Successful. That was Very so fun. much fun. I had to keep doing this before it gets like way too hot as well. I know because a lot of people are literally out here at 6 a.m. I used to, when I was running last summer, I had to wake up at like 5. I can't believe I ran. That's such a not me thing to do. I like running. But I just got a treadmill I so I can now avoid the heat. Yeah, that's why I got a treadmill because it was so hot. Game and 12 through 30. Changer. Waters, yes. But like. Okay, guys, just finished tennis. At first, I was sucking. I just still am like kind of getting over this cold too. Like I don't know. I just feel slow. You know, and even like really sick, and you just feel slow. Anyways, um, then things got better. I really want to take privates though in Dallas. If any of you guys have good recs or privates, let me know. I need to go home and shower. It was just really fun though, and like it's just it was just such a good way to start your day. Like, I think Janine and I are gonna be doing this a lot more often. Well, I changed again. Um, I'm just in one of those days where. My self tanner is messed up, so I can't wear most of my clothes, and I also don't like any of my clothes right now. So it's really been something. So I'm actually sending in a video, I'm making a thumbnail right now. So it's noon, I finished editing a vlog that I'm sending in, I've just been doing some work. Being an adult is paying $80 to have someone come to your house for them to just literally do nothing. I had a repair and they told me I need to hire someone else, which is weird because that someone else told me that I needed to hire them. So. Here we are. Um, anyways, I decided to change. I'm literally wearing a bathing suit under this and I'm just wearing this like pink cover up set. I'm just going down the street to get lunch with a friend. I decided why do that when I'm just gonna go lay up on my rooftop later. I have to do it because it has been raining so much and the weather's actually nice today and like the UV rays are out and like I'm trying to like actually get tan this summer. We'll see if it happens. I want a natural tan. I'm back from lunch. I'm sorry, this is really loud. My moth is going. I'm about to go read and lay out outside, but I have a new package from After Voices, which is exciting. It is so beautiful. Very fabulous, guys. Love that. This Narwhal vacuum mop two-in-one thing, I mean, 10 out of 10. Oh, oh, this is cute, because I have the matching top. I got this 
Court Sport, which is what I wore earlier, but in pink. But I have the matching top, so that's perfect. Um, I wear a size medium in Ultra Voices, by the way. And this is the three inch skirt, which is also perfect. Love this, guys. Thank you so much. Love Outdoor Voices. I also went to CVS because my self-tan has to go away. I got an exfoliating shower cloth. I also picked up a exfoliating dry brush. So I'm gonna do all this today. Um, I'm gonna try this Australian Gold Instant. I thought this was like a tanning oil. Um, I don't know. Updates to come. I got that recommended by a lot of you guys. And then just random things. I thought these hair clips were cute. This is my arm right now. This is, I tried to exfoliate earlier without a brush. This is the worst it's ever been. Is this like stupid to put this on after sunscreen? I don't know. I'm on the rooftop for the next probably two hours. So I have my Kindle, my 101 essays that will change the way you think. I've been trying to journal more, which has been very good for me mentally. My hydro drug with me all the time. I will have my link um, down below. I have a code for 10% off, I think. I drink so much water with this thing. I literally carry it with me everywhere I go. What I just did to fix this self tanner um, mess was borderline like witchcraft at this point, guys. I, I should have done it before, like a true before, so you guys could have just seen it like right up, but I just exfoliated my entire body with an exfoliating towel. I actually got it at CVS, I ordered some. I self tan my face too, so I'm gonna look a little bit crazy, but I ordered some gloves and they weren't arriving on time and it was just so bad, so I stopped at CVS when I got after I got lunch with Landon and I exfoliated my entire body, which I honestly didn't think was going to be possible because that's how bad it was. Anyways, it was just really bad on my arms. I exfoliated this morning, which just made it worse, but I wanted to like do that earlier. And then I went in with the exfoliating towel. I will link one below. And it got everything off also with an exfoliator. I used the Kapari stuff. Um, and I just feel next level. Um, and then I self tan, So this will develop over the next eight hours. I use the St. Tropez stuff. I have a lot of Rex and stuff. I've been self tanning for years. So if you guys want an entire sit down video on my favorite self tanners and how I self tan and stuff, comment below and let me know because I would definitely be down. Currently 4.52 PM, I was listening to Sibling Revelry with Oliver and Kate Hudson, which I love that podcast by the way. I think I'm actually gonna go downstairs and make some like meal prep type stuff to have food ready for the weekend. False alarm, I don't have tortellini, so I'm just making salmon. Here's the thing, I really just wanted to cook. I'm not even that hungry, but I needed to make the salmon today. Look how much that is. Um, also, these are from CB2. I get a lot of questions about them. I've linked them before. I can link them again. They're so cute. And they're All right, I just made some dinner. I also made some overnight oats. I made some oats, almond milk, peanut butter, because I'm out of almond butter, cow powder, um, chia seeds, honey. I used to make really good overnight oats back in the day and I kind of want to get back to it. So I took one step and made one today. Okay, I need to leave in 15 minutes. I don't feel like getting ready. I'm My self tanner is still developing. I'm back from dinner, it's 11. Um, what a great time, we went to Legacy West. So but I came home to a package. We're gonna end off today's vlog with Little Princess Polly Hall. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. I did some online shopping last weekend because I feel like I just need more like going out tops. And then I feel like I need more bottoms to match the tops. And then I feel like I need more matching set. Like, you know what I mean? It just like keeps going from there. First thing I got are these shoes, which you can't see yet. They are so cute. I mean, guys, like the cutest little pink heels. Oh! Love them. It's gonna be a great summer shoe. Okay, I got some more denim from Princess Polly because I literally live in Princess Polly denim. The straight leg, like asymmetrical. I love them. And I also feel like mine have kind of like gotten worn down a little bit. Also, just got them in a different wash. I honestly like the ones that aren't asymmetrical more, but they didn't have them. You know what? I hate these little like salt bags. Like, why does that have to be a thing? I got these. Okay, so for those of you who ask about sizing, the other ones that I have are size six, but they're just always a little bit loose, and I don't know if that's just because I've worn them so many times or I just should size down, so I got a size four. Hopefully they fit, um, but again, it could just be the fact that I've like worn them so many times. I got these cute little shorts, they're little black shorts. I don't know when I'm gonna be like, oh, I feel tan enough to wear black shorts, you know what I mean, but I like these because they were longer and they like actually kind of like cover your butt and stuff. You guys are gonna be shocked. This is legitimately my third pair 
I third wash in the same thing. Again, I'm kind of over the asymmetrical, but I love the fit and I don't have the, they didn't have the ones that weren't asymmetrical. So I just got them in black as well. Love that. I feel like I'll wear these a lot actually. I never really wear black pants, um, but I need to start. These looks cute. They looked promising. I feel good about them. Again, they're longer, which I love. Honestly, these are really cute. And again, they're asymmetrical, which I actually really like on the short because it's not as obvious. Sorry for those. This is the skirt, and then it has a little tie-up thing. I don't know where the top is. Okay, we'll find it soon. Don't worry, guys. Oh, so we're going. I don't think I've told you guys this, but it's like the talk of the town. It's all my friends and I ever talk about. Next weekend, we have a party bus. Actually, it might be this weekend as you guys are um, watching the vlog, but we have a party bus, and we're going to Billy Bob's. <laughs> For a country concert like could I be more Texas and I've been getting um, outfit ideas or I've been getting um, Dresses to wear in preparation in case I want to wear them or I'll just wear them anyways But I just thought this was so cute. I got it in two colors. I love the blue like It is so cute. I just love this like I'll also just wear this all the time Anyways, I, I bet I wear that this weekend before I even get there this dress I actually will probably wear out on Saturday night. It's very cool. It's just this like slouchy blue dress, long sleeve, and then it's backless, which I think is so cute. I never really wear backless things, so. With just like cute little white kitten heels or something. Nothing too crazy, guys. Oh, this is one of those like pink wrap tie-up tops, you know? I don't know. I'm not even gonna try to explain that right now. I, you guys probably know. They're like everywhere and people are making fun of them now. Next thing I got, oh, I got two long sleeve black tops because these are just so good to have when you go out. But I love this. I don't know how my boobs are not gonna fly out of that. This is just super cute, really easy to have for like a night out. Like, you know when you're just like last minute going somewhere and you don't know what to wear? That, that's what you wear. Now that I'm like so social and actually have places to wear my outfits, I like wear cuter outfits. Wait, oh. Okay, so this is the matching top. Guys, there's no way that this is the top. Scarf top beige. This is the top, guys. I don't know how they made that happen. It matches this, and it's really cute, but like how, that's not what it looks like online. I don't know, I can't even like, I. It's like way past my bedtime right now, to be clear. I should be in bed reading Taylor Jenkins Reads new book, you know? This top I love. I've been looking for one like it. I've seen them everywhere. This kind of style where it's just like scooped in the boobs. Again, guys, how is this gonna cover? I don't think it will. It'll be a wild one, guys. This, oh, this is just a cute little like black set, little scrunchy top, cute pants. These are typically like really flattering. Um, but I just thought this was cute. What shoe should I wear with it? Sneakers? Heels? I don't know. Okay, and then, last but not least, I got the same dress in cream, which I thought was cute, to Billy Bob's with my brown cowboy boots. Like, this could very much so be the vibe, you know, or the blue one, but I wouldn't wear the blue one this weekend. So I'll handle that tomorrow. Um, I've got a lot of health stuff to do. So the next vlog is gonna be me getting my life together because there's just cleaning that needs to be done. There's laundry. The dogs are getting groomed. Okay, and that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys did, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Um, comment 11.06 p.m. if you guys made it to the end of the vlog. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the morning. Bye. Doing more research and just like, this is the life. <laughs> That's actually so funny that you say that. I could actually see all of that happening in like a young adult novel for sure. Yeah, I've definitely had an interesting journey and gotten very lucky in many scenarios, I feel.